All right, it's the next morning on the first night that these baby chicks were on grass. I put them out in the chicken tractor on day one and I'm curious to see how they did. <laughs> A little nervous about it. Are you guys still alive? How you guys doing? They look a little bit cold. You know, they're huddling around, which is normal, but they look alive. <laughs> they're looking pretty good, actually. So they still have a lot of water here. Now I'm gonna get some food and just kind of throw it on the ground here. Kind of encourage them to peck at the ground, so that way maybe they'll eat more of the grass and the little tiny rocks in the dirt. But it's important to put these chickens out on the grass outside as early as possible. I just wanted to try if I can do it on day one. The weather was perfect for it, so I'm stoked that it actually worked. <laughs> and they seem to be doing really good. So the other day, I planted some beets it was actually 200 beats on this row right here to start our fall garden. I can't believe we're already thinking about fall. We still haven't even got our first tomato yet. <laughs> But we're already planting and thinking about it and we got some seeds. I'm starting to see leaves fall. The end of summer is near. These are... I have some more onion seeds I want to plant. Alright, since we got fall on the brain, we're going to attempt to grow some seeds in some of these trays that I built. And if you've been watching any of our videos, you will know that <laughs> we are not good at starting seeds in trays. It just doesn't work for us, but we're going to give it another shot. <laughs> are you sure it's the right consistency? You're going to have to make it like mud or like it has to be like warmable. That might be, that might work. All right, the key to this soil block is to get a good consistency with this soil so that way it's comp more compact. So we need our um, professional mud pie maker. Penelope, you gonna help us out? Yeah. Our mud pie maker over there, she's too busy making mud pies. <laughs> See if that's the right consistency. Ooh, first try. Just like making brownies. <laughs> so these should fit like six of these rows on each one. I'm curious to see how this fall garden will do. I think it'll be great. Uh, we never do. We never do good with fall gardens. Like we, we, we did a fall garden last year, but it didn't do too great. I mean, we got a few things. No, I think our timing for a fall garden is off because it either grows and when it starts to grow, bugs attack it and then that's the end of it. Or maybe it just gets too cold and it doesn't grow at all or it just dies off. I think it's gotta be the right consistency. Penelope, we need a professional mud pyre. What are you doing over here? Let's see. What are you doing? I'm making paste. Mud pie paste? We're gonna finish the seeds. Get over here when you're done. She loves her mud pies, for sure. All right, this is what we're planting. We're using the seeds from our friends over at So True Seed. We have some lettuce, kale, broccoli, 
Chinese cabbage, some pak choy, broccoli, we don't ever do good at, but we're gonna give it a shot. We're not gonna plant everything. We're just gonna see what we can plant here and just start from there, see how it goes. These are broccoli seeds. Bunch of dried beetles. Oh, they love it. And it like, it's um, like little chips for them. Yeah, look, I'm touching it. You are. Good job, Anel. Ah. <laughs> Get it, Bernie. Our greenhouse here is a beetle death trap. Once they get stuck in here, there's no coming out. So we have a lot of beetles that have died in here. Look at I packed it in there. That's pretty good. That's a good job, Penelope. Give me some. Boom. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> We're not going crazy with the seeds because I don't even know if this will grow. I think it's the timing of everything that we're not sure of in the fall. You having the best time of your life here, Penelope? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, the last of the lettuce. It's already getting kind of old. Um, the stems are getting really thick, but we can still eat these really good leaves. And then I'm going to move on to the collards down the row. All right, so we started our fall garden. Penelope's playing in the mud. The rain's picking some lettuce. The cucumbers are dead. The zucchini is almost done. Potatoes are popping. <laughs> Still no tomatoes. We have corn almost ready. We planted beets. Pumpkins are starting to grow. <laughs> Another beautiful day on the homestead. Thanks for watching.